Here is my optics experiment on the cheap. Um, these are, well, pretty obvious what these are. This is a piece of um, uh, plastic that was used to tying up uh, lumber or something like that. And we dab it with a Q-tip with a little bit of water. And this is a product called Mylar, which is some sort of plastic and it's got uh, uh, al aluminium stuck to it. Anyway, so there's my optics experiment, almost ready to go. And that is a little laser level. And it's one of the most useless ones I've ever got, but it works for this experiment. So as you can see, as it moves around, um, the pint of light moves. Um, so, and you can do all sorts of funny little play games with it. Anyway, um, I'll just uh, show you how to do a crop. So here we have a drawing of a parabola shape, and I have put the uh, little mirror into the shape of the parabola. I probably haven't done it exactly, but I've done it pretty close. And the great thing about a parabola is it focuses the light of the sun to a point. And so my finger's on the point, and as I move the sun around, the light from the laser remains stuck on my finger. Now there is a problem with a parabolas for a solar cooking. And the problem is, if the sun isn't shining straight down on the parabola, it's not going to go to the focus. So I'm, I'm going to turn the sun to about, say, 30 degrees. So here, it's way above the focus. I move the sun. And so the sun is shining across all the um, parabolas. So you see, this side, it's focused above the line then as we, uh, we move to this side so the sun is stationary at this point but I'm just showing where the light of the sun is shining it's behind the focus until we get to here and here it's in front of the focus and I can turn it more and it's further in front of the focus so this is the sun an hour later maybe and now it's behind the focus. So nearly all the time the sunlight is missing the focus. So that's the great big problem with parabolic um, solar cookers. They must have tracking. Here we have a potential solution to the parabola problem. So I'm just going to try and explain it. What we've done here is we've drawn, we still have this parabola, the one I showed you. And we also have another parabola with the same focal point. And what we can do is combine them. So we have this parabola, or sorry, this parabola here, and we have this parabola here, and we combine the two parabolas. So they've still got the same focal point, and now they're combined. It's a little hard to do this because the, st um, the material is very uh, flexible. So that green stuff is too flexible, so I did my best, and, and um, so this is not going to be perfect, but it should demonstrate um, uh, the, uh, how this solves the problem. So in this, um, uh, it's actually not demonstrating that good. Anyway, the compound parabola is where you combine the two par parabolas, and what it means is you can shine. You have an acceptance angle, so. If the sun is shining this way or this way, it should um, the light should focus at or below the focal point. So here's the sun at one point and it's staying underneath. Now this should be at the focus, but um, I couldn't uh, bend it properly. But it's staying about at the focus here at this side. 
Now, um, as the sun moves across the sky, so here's the sun another time. This side is bringing it down below the focus, and this side is bringing it about at the focus. So the acceptance angles means that 30 degrees, the sun can move 30 degrees across the sky and all the light will be focused at the focal point or just below it. And this is a really, really important concept. It, it, um, uh, it changes a lot of things in um, solar cooking. Um, if we start making um, solar cooker, uh, cookers with compound parabolic um, um, mirrors I think it will um, it puts all sorts of extra possibilities into solar cooking anyway um, so it just it has a much closer focus you get the light going um, on, on your cooking dish for no known time and with the, in this case it's 30 degrees and I've made one outside a compound parabolic um, um. my next video is going to describe how to make a compound parabolic dome mold and show how to uh, make um, compound par parabolic dishes on that mold so subscribe to my videos if you wish to see it thank you